Welcome to the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. This is just a quick tutorial to show you all the features of the pen tool so that you can start practicing using it and get familiar with it. The pen tool is used to create vector-based graphics. Vector-based graphics are the opposite of raster graphics. Vector graphics are made up of mathematical coordinates, whereas uh, raster graphics are made up of pixel information. The difference is that with vector graphics you can scale them really large without loss of resolution. So this is the pen tool in the toolbar. Click to select it. Click to create points on your page and then click to create another point and it creates a line. So in this way you can draw straight lines and also you can create solid geometric shapes. If I hold the pen tool hover it over my beginning point it'll create a little black circle. The black circle tells me that if I click now that's going to create a solid shape. You need to make sure that if you're trying to create a solid shape that you always see that black circle so that you know that it's going to close the form. So now I have a solid form and you can probably see it better if I give it a solid color. So I'm going to change the color to the fill color to black and just get rid of the stroke to simplify things. So now I have a solid black shape. What can I do with this? Well, lots of things. First thing, if you look at the pen tool with the plus sign next to it, you can add more coordinate points. So click on your shape and I've added another point. Now that point's not really doing anything to change the look of my shape. However, if I then go to the direct selection tool and I click on that point just to select that one point and drag it, I can change the appearance of my form. So in this way you can draw geometric shapes. And then alternatively there is the pen with the negative sign next to it and you can imagine what that does if I click on a coordinate point it deletes it. So now I'm just going to delete that shape and start over. Definitely the best thing about the pen tool is that it can draw curved forms. Instead of just clicking and lifting up to create a point, I'm instead going to click and drag to create what are called Bezier handles, which help to create my curved form. So I clicked and drag and again I'll click and drag and then click and drag, click and drag and then close that form and now I've created a curved form. And again the same as with the coordinate points you can also click to select your point and then use the direct selection tool to drag your Bezier handles, lengthen them, shorten them, and change the shape. This brings me to the last tool associated with the pen tool, which is this one here. It's a little carrot shaped thing. It's called Convert Anchor Point Tool. This does a number of things. One thing it can do is delete the Bezier handles. If you just click on your coordinate point, it deletes those handles and if you delete all the handles it will lead you back to your geometric shape. It can also add back your handles if you click on the point and then drag, drag them back, click and drag to recreate them. And it does other things as well. I'm going to delete this shape to show you the one last thing that the Convert Anchor Point tool can do. Start another shape with the Pen tool. Go back to the Convert Anchor Point tool. And watch how it can change the angle of my Bezier handles to create an acute angle or a corner. So it can bend them in. Go back to the Direct Selection tool to just adjust my Bezier handles
and that's the pen tool.